Hi, it's Richie and Jake in the Sonic Dad Studios to bring you another episode of Throwback Thursday. What are we doing today? Today we are building project number four, the Sonic Popper, which is really awesome because it's made from... A racquetball. These guys. This goes way back to like 2012. So you probably remember as a kid the little popper toys. That's what we're going to build, but we've sonic sized it. We're going to build it out of a racquetball. Pops a lot higher, a lot more power. So this project is pretty simple. You need a sheet of sandpaper, some sharp scissors, an X-Acto knife with a sharp blade. And some racquetballs. So the first thing we need to do is cut a racquetball in half. And this can be a little bit challenging. It's a good idea to have some adult supervision if you're a youngster. So to start your cut, it's really easy. You just put the pointy end into the ball. Do you know how to use that thing? The pointy end goes into the other man. Right, and not your hand. <laughs> so you'll find a molded seam line right in the middle. If this was a globe, this is the equator. And you just find that seam line and cut along it. The next step is we're going to take some sharp scissors and cut about a quarter inch off all the way around. This is an example of the correct amount of cut with the scissors because when you turn it inside out like this, it stays and it doesn't pop. That's good because we need to do some fine tuning on that one. This one I've cut too much to show you what happens. You can see it doesn't stay. It doesn't stay inside out. Now it's time to fine tune it. Now as you flip the popper inside out, if you just set it on the table, ideally it will invert itself, which is what triggers the upward mo movement. Ideally it will invert itself in what, maybe 10 seconds? Yeah, about 10 seconds. If it doesn't do it within 10 seconds, it means you have a little bit of calibration to do and that's where the sandpaper comes in. So to take a little bit of material off, I just need a sheet of sandpaper and I'm gonna put it on top like this and just kind of move it around and twist it. Would you say that you're doing a twist and shout? Yeah, especially if you send the fingertips off, that really hurts. So I'm going to do a little bit at a time and I'm going to keep testing by turning that inside out and seeing how long it takes to pop. If it doesn't pop soon enough, sand a little bit more. Now the more material you sand off, the faster that should pop, so you're essentially shortening the fuse. Right. You can decide how much delay you want in your sonic pop, and that's kind of cool. So let's try it. Hey, hey. It's moving. A little bit more. A little more. I'm using 150 grit sandpaper. Okay, try this again here. Hey, there you go. that's pretty good. Okay, we've got a couple built. Now we're gonna show you how to use them. It's very complicated, so pay attention. First, you take the inside and you put it on the outside. It seems like everything on my inside wants to be on my outside. Okay. And what? Then you set it down and run away. Or be brave and stand here. <clears throat> there are a couple other fun tricks you can do, like this one. You stick it on the end of your thumb and wait. The suspense is really intense. Get sort of point in somebody's direction. I know that trick. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, toward the camera girl. Go! I think I'm going to tune this one a little bit. There it goes. <laughs> okay, how about this one? Shoot off your elbow. Ow! Okay. <laughs> this is uh, another fun thing to do. You can drop it on a surface. Um, if you have a hardwood floor or tile or something like that, you can drop there or I'll demonstrate here. And you catch it. Does it work off of foreheads? Launching off of foreheads? <laughs> No, or dropping on four. Does a oh. forehead clown as a heart count as a hard flat surface? I don't know. We should try it on, on yours and see if it works. 
Okay, let's try it on the floor. Works better if it's yeah. a hard floor, but it does. Oh! It kind of comes back to you. Oh. So if you have a hard, smooth surface like this concrete, you can really get them to pop well. Oh, the knee. Whoa, I can hear that one. Uh -huh. You've got the skills. I can't do the vertical thing. There we go. Nice. In a former life, I made my living as a professional sonic pop thrower. Whoa, that's impressive. One, two, two five, eight. sir. One, two, five. Please, up. Impressive. <laughs> So there you have it folks, that's project number four, the Sonic Popper. Thank you for suggesting it. Let us know which project you want us to do next. And until next time, I'm Jake. I'm Richie. We'll see you later. Nope. <laughs> that's where the danger comes in. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to our channel. And visit our website, sonicdad.com. <laughs>